What's up guys? So my apologies about not doing a video on Wednesday. I was caught up in my midterms and I just got home too late to get a chance to do it. But we are here on Thursday when the new events are out. And for some reason, there's just no images on the event post, which they always included as far as I remember. But we got ourselves a Kakazoo and it's not the naked Kakazoo that everybody talks about on stream. Uh, and you know, this Sunday I was talking about I haven't seen Lucky Stars since I stopped playing back then. And it came back. Also, it is just kind of weird. They do not have any events for Monday. Or at least none of them are announced up here. So all the events are coming from this Thursday until next Thursday. And um, there are just no images. Like, I don't know if it's just my side that is happening like this. But there are no images. So at least I waited till Thursday to do this event video anyway. And tell you guys, or show you guys what's gonna be going on. So no surprises come Monday. We do have ourselves a free summon. Still just in Kirin, but I don't know. Super rares are apparently two thousand scrolls in, and I don't know if they changed that system since then. But Lucky Stars wheel. Uh, this is the first time I am seeing it in months. Uh, for those of you who still don't have Tendo from Ultimate Training, this is your only way of getting fragments so unless you're gonna wait for the weekend to chase missions and hoping to get lucky uh, and you also get yourself tsunami fragments which i will tell you from personal experience this is called the unlucky stars wheel for a reason i've put too many ingots in this game for this wheel never got any of these kind of rare things i think i actually got shirado twice that was probably doing the event like five times over Redemption Rewards. This is where your naked Kakazu, not naked Kakazu, this is your <laughs> Earth Grudge for your Kakazu comes in. And you also have yourself Tsunade Fragments, Sailor Sakura Frags, and the swimsuit of, uh, outfit is back. So I will have to eventually do some calculations and see how much that is. Because um, I did want this outfit, but it was way more expensive during the release. So I wonder if it's cheaper now. And it would probably be better to get just because you have a small chance of getting, I don't know, like Tendo Fragments. I I am uh, kind of close, like 24 away from 4-star Tendo. So that wouldn't be too bad to get some towards that. And then uh, obviously I don't have Hokage Tsunade. It's like I was unable to get her from the recharge reel back then. Uh, so yeah, maybe I'll have to see how much the price is that up to. But I would like to get that summer outfit eventually. And uh, we'll go over Kakazu just to see what he can do. Total spending rebate. So 40 or 30k spending for your, to get yourself in reanimated uh, Daedara. Which is uh, just reasonable with the amount of events you can spend into. I would say he is a very good ninja. Someone I, I was looking forward to. And I would say if you're going to spend 30k towards other things, this event would work out. Especially if you're going for... Hokage Tsunade, I probably assume she is over 30k. Minimum 30k. So going for her, and unless you get lucky with these fragments, you'll probably have to pay the full price. So you'd get yourself a, a Daedara. Then you have the Sakura's Gift. So you buy Origiri, which is the Sakura's food sack. And upon buying those things, you get these kind of food items, and you would just send them as gifts. And that's how this ranking goes for it. Um, the rewards for the rankings, you get yourself a Purification Breakthrough Pill for rank 1, and a level 7 Attack Magatama, which is kind of cool. A red Chakra Rune Pack, level 6 Magatama Pack, more Red Chakras. So, the events aren't anything extraordinary, but I don't expect too many people going in for this. I mean, there's a guy in server 558 and 575, geez, <laughs> that's like 500 servers ahead of me. Uh, so I guess this event really does stretch across like all of East Coast or something like that. But the the stuff to get from this event is pretty cool. The Kazakage Garo fragments, Hiruzen, and Sage Naruto frags. Coins are nothing special. Don Go Charm Material Packs, Purification Runes, and a discount voucher. Only 10%, which will go for the daily special event. Platinum recharges here, 50 ingots a day for 20 coupons and double 3 Magatama. It's honestly a good deal for just, it's like $1. $1 gets you that, which is reasonable. And if you were to do this for seven days, you would get one seal scroll and charm material pack. So 
at least they're giving you some sort of value. Uh, 300 ingots gets you, you can choose between Kushina, Killer B, or Shikaku Fragments. Which, even after 7 days, you would still be missing some fragments to get them. Uh, but 8 Killer B Fragments is pretty good. If you're going up for 4 star. Cave Keys as well. Primary Recharge Packs. So you also get yourself one of those, which will give you more fragments. So actually, you would get either a Kushina or a Shikaku. If you did recharge 300 ingots for 7 days and claimed all of this. And you would get almost... Yeah, I'm not, I refuse to do math right now, but you'd get like over 80 Killer B fragments. So it would be close to a 4 star. And more Seal Scrolls. Then a 2000 ingots a day. Which let you get one Raikage frag or Sasuke Susano fragment. Um, considering how rare ninjas they are, it will be alright. But... um. Yeah, that's it's it's kind of all right, I guess. I mean, you would be getting all the rewards before that as well, but three hundred ingots to two thousand ingots is a huge difference. And you get ten advanced refine runes, but for doing this one for seven days, you get ten Raikage or Sasuke fragments, which is actually pretty good. You also get those purification break breakthrough pills, one which are these are the rarest things to get because they give you percentage boosts. In power, and you get a contracting scroll for the summoning interface, which I didn't exactly look into, so I don't know when you'd be using that. Probably at a higher level summon. Uh, daily packs, this event, okay, so Platinum Recharge, since I've seen this event, it seems like it has gotten way better. But this daily packs event is still trash from the day I quit, from the day I started playing. It is never going to be a good event. I really just will never like it. Um, limited time recruitment. I, I'm holding on for the summoning rebate. And they bring out another seal scroll rebate. I could have sworn we had one last week. But if you have 300 scrolls and you want to pull. So I have like almost no seal scrolls. But if I did have 300, I will save up for 300 anyway to maximize the rebate. And then pull for a Kage rare because I'm so. I'm probably close to getting one. I still don't even have my first one. The daily special is here. So throughout seven days, you'll get yourself some good deals. I saw where you got the 10% discount voucher, but I didn't see where you get the other discount vouchers from. And I'm not sure if I missed that somewhere, or there's just... This one gives you... No. This doesn't even give you a discount voucher. So I don't know exactly where you get it. Or you probably just can't get anything but a 10%. Ninja mission, make sure you just sweep ninja exam, you finish that. Survival trial, you gotta do a survival trial. Uh, Mystery Fruits, let's see. Seal Scrolls Cave Key Gift Pack. Eh, it's alright, I guess. The events are pretty cool, I, I'll have to say. They are spending intensive. There's not really... But it's a, I'd say it's a fair balance. And this Kakuzu, so let's see. What is this new Kakuzu doing? Alright, um... So we have ourselves... The one where he has his masks out. So his mystery causes medium damage interruption to a selected unit. If the selected unit is defeated, Kakuzu will immediately recover 20% of his life points. And his ninjutsu will increase by 40%. So you're telling me you could keep stacking that ninjutsu boost. That's kind of... That's actually really strong. If you use that to finish off low HP units, he would keep stacking up 40% ninjutsu. And it says it, it can keep stacking up, so... Killing one will be 40%, then another one will be 40% on top of all that. So that's actually pretty solid. His standard attack attacks three units from the opponent's lineup with fire and wind attribute damage causing repulse. Uh, then he also has himself the 20 hit combo causing fire, wind, and lightning attribute damage to three random units of the opponent's team. And before the first action in a round, recover some life points to two random Akatsuki units from your field. Will cancel all debuffs on these two. So, he's interesting. He's like a support unit for Akatsuki's. And he's immune to low flow, high flow, repulse, and knockdown. So, he's like a support tank, I would say. That could actually deal out some kind of damage. So, he's interesting. Probably gonna cost over 12k, though. Uh, but this would, make, this would make potential teams interesting. Yeah, I would say so. So, I, I like that Kakuzu. Uh... I still, I remember watching China videos back then, 
I've seen lots of Kakazus as well as uh, Shark Kisames. But this leads me to the combo simi that I was using during the stream is that everybody was asking me about. So I figured I should just show it on the video and and I'll put the link in the description. So this combo simulator was brought to me like way back. Um, I'm not exactly sure when, but it was probably towards the beginning of the year. And it is just, and at least back then, everyone was saying it was better than the 10 cent one and the QQ one that they have. And I've been using it on Sunday for the first time and it's actually pretty good. It has, has an English, you know, setting, has German as well as Portuguese. Um, you base it even has an auto combo feature, which is what I love about it. Because when I was always making teams, I would go to the combo simulator, and I would have to like mess around with every single chase and go through every single summon, and then you find which has the highest chase. But you don't have to do that anymore. So let's just see what kind of um, what kind of team would I make. So uh, since Kakuzu is the new the new ninja, what would I do? Um, I probably would be feeling fire, to be honest. So, you search up. I don't know how often this is updated, but it is updated to the Chinese one. So, Kakazu is more of a support, but I would have to have him as a tank. I don't know. This team... Alright, if you're going to use this team and you're going to blame me for losing, I'm just I'm just putting up things. So, um, you know, you could definitely use Hidon. I would probably just put Conan for the buff. You want to do a Akatsuki team. I mean, um, if you don't have heat on, what if you just go full glass cannon? Like, we did, we just ditch. Yeah, what if we just ditch Conan and put a data reanimated? I mean, I would try something like this, even if it wouldn't work. I would definitely try it. I mean, Kakuzo has a 60 chakra cost mystery, so that is that is actually really expensive for, um, for medium damage. But he has a pretty OP effect if he does defeat somebody. And then the best part about this combo simulator. Auto combo. And it automatically shows you what the summon will that will give you the highest combo. You press that, confirm, and it does it for you. And all you have to do is just check which chase it uses, which obviously mystery standard attack and the passives you have to set. So for this team, I would probably use mirroring vision. Um, Ninjutsu urge, not really. I would probably use Genjutsu mirror. And I would probably end up using the clone or death mirage. Because you have Daedro for damage, so the team would be kind of like glass. It would probably be a glass cannon team, to be honest. But you get yourself a six hit combo chase, and it lists off the combos. And this is probably the most, not most efficient way you can do it but for a Kakuzu team. There's probably going to be way better teams. Um, definitely, if you watch at least Chinese gameplay from even months ago, you would see a lot of teams back then. And then switching Conan is as simple as just doing auto combo again, and it shows the highest possible is seven. You can go through the combos, so it's it's a very nice combo simulator website that was brought to me many months ago. And when I was first shown this, it was only available to the German side. Uh, so you know it's awesome that they have English translations as well as Portuguese. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. It's gonna be in the link description as well as the link to the events on the forums if you're interested. But that was all I had to say for today's video. Apologies for being one day late. But I'll see you guys on Sunday for the pretty much Sunday stream.